all right, George. Just relax. My back. Now, I want you to take deep breaths and close your eyes. Patient George Orr, age 32, voluntary therapeutic treatment, drug abuse. Reasonably good health, slightly undernourished, passive, repressed. Maybe an intelligent schizophrenic. You relax now? Huh? Yes. you to tell me more about these dreams that change reality. And think back to the first one. How old were you? Seventeen. I was seventeen. Yeah. I was still living at home. And Aunt Ethel, my mother's sister, was living with us. She was getting a divorce. She'd been there about six weeks. And she was always in the way. She drove everybody crazy. She kept making a joking play for me. Uh, she was 30, kind of sexy. It got me uptight. And she was always trying to turn me on. night while we were watching television something happened how could I have done it she was my aunt for God's sake I used to have these dreams about her and that night I had a really vivid dream up in the morning, Aunt Ethel wasn't living with us. She never had lived with us. A telegram had come from Los Angeles. My mother was crying. Aunt Ethel had been killed in a car crash. And that was it. It was my first effective dream. And nobody else noticed that Aunt Ethel had suddenly vanished? My dreams change everything that comes before them. And nobody knows it but me. I killed her. George, I want you to understand something. There is a difference between what you dream and what you do. But not for me. It's the same thing. And I can't control what, what I... What you can control is all of this guilt and anxiety. And that's exactly what we'll be working on together in the next few sessions. Dr. Haber, you've got to help me. George. If I thought you were about to lose your balance, I wouldn't let you out of here so quickly, believe me. What I will do is give you a prescription from a probamate. That will keep your dreams low-keyed without repressing the dream state entirely. But it's only temporary. I expect to see you back here same time next week. I didn't mean to kill her. of federal regulations controlling dispensation of medication at auto drugstores. 
It says here you've begun voluntary treatment with the Dr. William Haber, correct? Uh, yes. You've surrendered your uh, pharmacy card to the authorities? Yes. Uh, only I have a prescription from Dr. Haber. Uh, I have it right here. Here it is. All right. I'll have to issue you a temporary pharmacy card. But don't abuse it. As is your right, if you have any complaints, here's an HEW approved list of public investigators. Any other complaints? Just with my dreams. Not my jurisdiction. Next. Is that on me? Correct. Now, in layman's terms, this is what happens. First, I'm going to hypnotize you and put you to sleep. Now, you'll go through several stages of sleep, the final one being the dream state, or REM sleep. Now, the augmenter here will pass you quickly through those first stages and lock you into REM sleep. And that'll allow me to hold you there well, I watch your brain at work. My brain? Mm-hmm. Then, I'll suggest a dream to you. In your case, an effective dream. Oh, uh, that's dangerous. Well, the augmented changes nothing, George. Miss Crouch, could you bring Mr. Orr a consent to hypnosis form, please? Thank you. Do you trust me, George? Lie back and get comfortable. Now, is this comfortable? Yeah. Picking up a nice, healthy signal from your brain. You see the top screen here? Those are your theta rhythms. Nice, healthy thetas. Only a three on the susceptibility scale. We could be here all afternoon. I'm going to perform VC induction. Make a note of it. I see that you're not disturbed. Now, George, I'd like you to relax. I'd like you to look up at the ceiling. simple brain, my friend, nor a crazy one. 